Okay, hello people out there, this is Michael the Two and a Half Stooges, and boy has it been a long time since I recorded any of this, um, Pokemon type stuff, almost a month. Anyway, um, let's see, where the heck am I? As I mentioned before, my camera kind of, um, died, and I had to wait about three weeks before I got another one, and I'm glad to see that PNG. So, yes, you are probably noticing that the uh, focus is a little bit slower, because I haven't figured out how to just manually focus on an object that's um, the distance that my DS is away from the camera lens, like I did with the other one. What did you say, Mom? Professor um, Elm is waiting for me? Yes, normally you would be seeing cutscene there, but I kind of had, um... I kind of had to go and um, get to a Pokemon Center to do some trading stuff. And, um... That kind of required leaving my room and uh, enacting that cutscene in Elm! Really? Yeah, sure. Hmm, anyway, um... Exactly what that trading stuff I mentioned earlier as well, you'll probably see that soon enough. Isn't soon enough I'm referring to like Probably not very soon at all. What did I oh you can talk to these bookshelves, I don't need that. That is so useless. No. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, um I should sit down. Okay, that's a. Uh, there we go. But now you gotta hear my chair squeaking around and stuff like that. And stand by, please. Okay, there we go. Anyway, um. If I had that one, um. HM Slave type ho then I could just fly to Olivine City, but I don't really have that, so. Um. I think I'm gonna cut there, and why did I open that menu? Okay, first, um, there is actually something else, a couple other things really, but mainly one thing that I was thinking about here, um, Mount Mortar, um, excuse me, I gotta refresh my repel, um, you may have noticed that if you come in here, when you come through this way the first time around, oh hey, gold bat. Um, you can go and, um, I believe this way, and, and down that ladder, but I'll get there in a minute. Um, and there will be a waterfall, which you can't really do anything here until you get the, um, gym badge from Claire. And when I, when I did that the first time through, well, not really the first time through, but when I did that in this playthrough, I was kind of in a hurry and didn't think about that. So, here I am now. Anyway, I believe there's only one trainer here, so you're not really missing any training opportunities unless you want to fight some wild geodude, which you can do basically anywhere else in this game. You. Hmm, Hugh, Marcus. I believe I mentioned this the first time I came through Mount Mortar, but, um, the guy, there's one trainer upstairs, I believe. Wow, my fingers are, um, really, gotta get used to that. No items I can find. But upstairs, uh, when the first time you came through here, you can fight this guy called, um, Marcus that's looking for someone named Hugh. Well, down here, that guy's name is Mark, is, here we go with the failing at English again. Down here, that guy's name is, um... Hugh, and he's calling for Marcus, and... I'm getting so distracted by the amount of finger that's showing up in the, um... In the camera. Where is that anyway? Alright, so it's, um, down on this rock. Hyper potion, alright. 
Oh, speaking of higher versions, don't ask me why this, why I get reminded of this by finding a hyper potion, but you may notice some odd items popping up in my inventory. If I don't cut that stuff out, that's because I do use the Pokewalker still, and you do occasionally find items in there. Like, a number of random TMs that you probably wouldn't find so many of normally around Johto. Um, let's see, where do I want to go? I want to go this way. There's actually, um, quite a bit of distance down here, and a lot of hidden items, so... At least in this video, you're probably gonna see a lot of my finger. Or at least the stylus. Some... Metal plastic... Stylus thing. I think it's a lot more sturdier, or a lot more sturdy than the, um... Older, regular plastic stylus from the original DS's and stuff like that. Anyway, um... Hmm, I see a piece of land up ahead, but I don't believe I want to land on it for anything. They did anyway. I don't know if I can um, pick that item up in the water or not, but I guess there is something else. Never mind. Uh, why does this take so long, and why do I have to go through this animation for using surf every single time? I suppose if I turn the um, I believe if I turn the uh, battle animations off, then. It'll speed up the cutscene a little, but I don't know that for a fact. Alright, so... I want to jump down here, and I don't think you want to go down there, because that's back where you started. And down here, I think this also leads back to where you started, and I don't see anything from the Thousand Machine. And... Let's see... You know, because I'm an insane, obsessive weirdo. Alright, so now I just gotta go back through the surfing cutscenes and, and thank God for video editing and stuff. And these videos probably take a lot uh, less time if I couldn't be bothered to go and find every single item that's lying around somewhere with every single HM and all that. I probably have a little bit easier time with the game too, because I'd be able to put some real moves on my Pokemon instead of just HMs. Um, such as Gyarados having like one real move, which is Whirl Waterfall, because Surf and Whirlpool and stuff like that, special moves and not that great. And, uh, which brings me to another thing I think I was supposed to be talking about here, which is that these videos are probably going to get a lot shorter. Like, earlier over the summer, I would be targeting. Uh, about 35 minutes for a video length, which is about an hour of recording stuff and then cutting in half with editing, but school has started, and until the end of October I have this thing called cross country, which is a sport that involves a lot of running, and I really don't have all that much time, so, except for, is there something up here? Yes. Except for the, um, you see Marlboro's Wii videos with me and Brian on Fridays, or, well, hopefully on Fridays, because it was, like, ten minutes to Saturday when I uploaded the last one. Um, yeah, these videos are gonna be a lot shorter, so, um, I've been recording now for about ten minutes, I think. The one thing that's kind of annoying about this camera is that it doesn't have a, um, Timer uh, that tells me how long it's been going. And someone is calling me Lyra. Or no, that's just Lyra. Yeah, I can ignore Lyra. Um, this is probably really stupid. I'm probably gonna have to cut out a lot of stuff going backwards, but I think there could be something. Oh, so um, this isn't a waste of time. So why didn't I come here earlier? I do not know. Rare candy. It's definitely not a waste of time. And I'm glad I came back for that. The music in this dungeon is kind of weird when I have to keep jumping in and out of water and first I hear the introduction to the cave theme in this game and then I hear the introduction to the surfing theme in this game and then switches like that, it's crazy. Anyway, I believe down here, um, there isn't quite as much but I don't know that for sure. Uh, either way, it will lead you to the top of uh, Mount Mortar where you were before and it looks like this is nothing down here. And, um... Hmm. 
Let's see, what's this? I do see some non-hidden items, obviously. Uh, iron's pretty good, although... I do believe I'm getting to the point in the game where my effort values are... passing the limit for where you can use vitamins. Which is, um... Vitamins give you 10 effort values for fighting and stuff. Uh, well, it does 10 free effort values, and, uh... Hmm, hidden item. You're kidding me, I gotta go all the way up there. And... Where was I? You have vitamins, 10 effort values, just free, you don't have to fight stuff for them, but you can only use them when you have under 100 effort values, and that's really not a lot compared to the um, maximum amount of them that you can accure over your Pokemon training. Uh, it's mostly competitive stuff, although it does help a little bit in-game. Like when you hear me shout stuff like the power of effort values, yeah, I survived a blow with 1 HP and stuff like that. Um, what is this? Max Revive. I probably could have explained that better. Um, if I actually thought about what I was going to say before, I just went on about random stuff like that. What's down here? Uh, the bottom of Mount Mortar. I bl I'm actually going to finish uh, dealing with up here first. Um, 200 steps really isn't a lot in 250 steps for the Max Repel is a little better, but it's still really not a lot. Anyway, Iron Ball, it's an interesting item. Uh, it's one of those crazy items that actually hinders you in battle. It doubles your weight, has your speed, and, um... Mm, don't believe I want to go here. And that, um... I think the Iron Ball also... nullifies Flying's weak, uh, immunity to ground or something like that. So it's kind of a rare item, but it can be good in um, the final points of like competitive battling and stuff. When you want to move last in priority bracket, when you've got something like a Machamp and T we going to move last anyway, and uh, you want to use one of those weird moves that's like double in power if you've already taken damage or something like that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it also has a 130 base power for when you're using fling, so that's a different story though. Alright. Java, I can push stuff around. That's uh, very nice. This looks like um, the basement of Mount Mortar. Yeah, up here. Uh, hyper Potion, another one. There's been so many max and hyper potions in this um, part of the game. <coughs> Nothing on there. Max Ether. It's not bad. I don't entirely get the Ether items, because unless you're going through the Elite Four with um, a couple Pokemon with moves like Fire Blast and um, one hit KOs, that really don't have that many power points to begin with, and you don't have an opportunity to heal, then that's the only thing I could. That's the only place I could really think about using an Ether. But other than that, you can't buy them anywhere, so you kind of want to save them, but at the same time, they're there, so you might as well use them, but... Power points in-game, you don't really have to worry about, and... Competitively, when you might have to worry about power points, you're not allowed to use items anyway, except for the Lepiberry. Yeah, Ethers and Elixirs I don't really get. Anyway, um... Is there anything in there? There's a Pokeball down there, I see. Power point up. Okay, so that's slightly more useful, because that's a permanent boost in power points. It's not as much, but it's still... Anyway, I believe this uh, ladder here will take you back up to the top. Um, I'm going to check for some... I'm not picking up any hidden items, although I might be out of range. Ultra Ball. Okay, I can sell that. To me, the Ultra Balls and stuff are about as useful as like X items and whatnot. I think this dead ends, but there may be, there's probably an item at the end, yeah, what's this, TM? Carbos, okay. Well, it's still good. Fortunately, the game's items usually don't have you go too far out of the other way, unless you're getting something good like a TM or vitamin or whatever. Max Revive. So, 
Cutting back up to the top. Um, down here, this guy. I guess I probably should have remembered him as another trainer down at the bottom of Mountain Water, but what do you want? Um, he's not. He's a little different as trainers go. I'm actually gonna rearrange my team, I think. Who needs experience? MP4. You're leading off. This guy. Interesting. Uh, if there's one thing that I don't like about Earthquake, it's that it's the animation with the flashing stuff makes it look like the display is gonna die. Anyway... Who- Lyra, go away! Why is Lyra suddenly deciding to call me? She hasn't been trying to call me all video. All playthrough, really. Anyway, um... The Karate King used to live in Saffron City, I believe, in the fighting dojo, but... He decided to come down here in the middle of the dungeon for training, for some reason I have no idea why. And, well, I guess he developed a new kind of um, fighting type Pokemon, uh, Tyrogue and Hitmontop, the extra evolutions to the Hitmon family. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, you can go down there when you have Rock Climb, and I believe that is it for um, Mount Mortar for now. There is still a little bit more you can do here, as you can see by all the random um, Rock Climbing stuff. But that's going to wait for later, as in much later, as in after 16 gym badges, and yeah, so, and there's the guy that's called Marcus and looking for Hugh or whatever. Yeah, I kind of did. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think, though, I may be just cutting the video here, um, finally taking on the SS Aqua in the next part. I used 13 repels so far, that's just ridiculous. So, they come subscribe, watch the next part, please, thank you, in advance, see you later. Autofocus, darn it.